Shopping for wine can be pretty scary. Just too many choices out there, but you can find really good wines at the supermarket if you know what you're doing. Kim got together with the Better Homes and Gardens Senior Food and Wine Editor for some quick tips that we can all use. Company's coming and you need a quick bottle of wine. The answer is the grocery store. But the wall of wine you'll find can be very confusing. Fortunately, I know just who to talk to for the secrets of shopping for wine at the grocery store. This is Richard Swearinger. Richard is senior food editor with Better Homes and Gardens magazine and, thank goodness, a wine expert. Richard, what is the secret to making a good choice when you're shopping for wine at the grocery store? First of all, decide whether you want red or white. Divide and conquer, half your problems are gone. If wine is more expensive, is it automatically better? No. There's great wines at all price points. More expensive wines tend to be a little more subtle, a little more complex, but you don't need to buy the whole orchestra when all you need is a fiddle. These $5.99 wines and $4.99 wines, don't be afraid to try them because a lot of times they're made by the same winemakers who are making the more expensive wines. It's different label, different grapes, but the same expertise and winemaking love and talent go into this bottle as go into even a $100 bottle of wine. Richard, I need a white and I need a red, so with all the whites, where do I start? Okay, I'm going to make it really simple for you. I'm going to give you two choices for white. One is Chardonnay, which tends to be a little smoother, a little more rich kind of a wine. And then if you want something a little more bouncy, lively, you're going to buy a Sauvignon Blanc. Okay. Those are your two choices. Okay, now I need a red. Just one red, you said. Right. Do not pass go and head directly for a wine called Shiraz. This is a wine, it's, I like to think of it as a crossover wine because it goes with all kinds of food, it tastes wonderful, and everybody loves it. So what correlation is there between what the label may say and what's inside? Like this one's called Happy Camper. What does that say to you about so this wine? I'm betting that wine would be a little lighter than a traditional cab. It'll be more fruity, a little more interesting, maybe a little sweeter. So have some fun for Pete's sake, right? That's what you're Absolutely. saying? Yes. That it just doesn't have to be all that serious. No. What about this one, Bloom? You know, we've tried this wine in our test kitchen and it tastes just like the label. It's fruity, it's flowery, it's fun. Okay, now let me see if I get this straight. When you're shopping for wine at the grocery store, number one, the highest priced wine isn't necessarily the best. Don't be a price snob. Okay. And the mood of the label does at times, or most of the time, reflect the flavor and the mood of the wine inside. Very often. And number three was divide and conquer. That's right. All right, you only get your choice of two whites, one red. Kim, I'm going to give you one last tip that's really going to save you time. When you're in a hurry, when you need wine, go to the cooler. Don't even bother with the shelves. You'll come home with a wine that's ready to serve. It'll be at the right temperature. It'll taste great. These are usually name brand wines, big companies. You can't go wrong. And you can grab and run. Thank you so much. Hopefully these tips will help you as much as they're going to help me the next time I go shopping for wine at the grocery store. I'm Kim Singer with Better TV. Thank you for watching Better.TV. Please email us your thoughts, ideas at Better.TV. Together we'll make your home, family, and life better.